After finishing second in state last year and only suffering three losses along the way, the Pequot Lakes softball team lost most of its starters, including the entire infield to graduation. Turn the page to 2017 with a new look on the field. The Patriots are turning some heads. Clayton Castle has more. If you told the Pequot Lake softball team back in March that it would start the season 8-3, the team wouldn't believe you. After last year's 28-3 second place finish, Coach Brett Surgeon thought he would need to rebuild in order to get back to that kind of success. Pleasantly surprised, actually. We lost, you know, from our 25-3 second in the state um, team last year where we finished. We had strong pitching, but we lost six our whole infield, pitcher, catcher, all the way around, first shortstop, so we had to replace everybody. The Patriots would need to find leadership in players who may not have been major contributors on last year's team if they wanted to make another run in the state tournament. Enter Carly Trottier, the junior catcher starting for the first time this season and completely tearing it up, hitting a 439 average for the season. To be honest, I started out, I was very nervous because last season all I did was I was a pinch runner and then I started hitting. But when I came into this season, I realized it was time to step up and be a leader. So I really just started. I just stepped up to my A game, and I've been doing my best since. After an illness took out the team's ace, Surgeon called upon a rising star in the program in seventh grader Morgan Eckes. Morgan started both games in yesterday's doubleheader against Staples Motley and notched two complete game wins in her first two career starts. I felt pretty good. It was quite a bit of an accomplishment, and I got a lot of support from the team and the coaches and all the parents. Um, I was pretty nervous, but knowing that I had a great field behind me, it made me feel quite a bit better. With an impressive start to the season, the Patriots only have one goal in mind. I think our goal is to make it to the section finals and see what comes from there. Because we're as good as anyone. We can do it. We just got to play our best. Reporting in Pequot Lakes, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. Thanks, Clayton. The Patriots will take the field again tomorrow afternoon. They travel to take on Pine River Bacchus. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.